Oh no. Yep, oh no. School's already started. And even worse, English has already started. Mrs. Belgium is going to kill us and burn us for life. <sighs> Great. Okay, class, hurry up and finish your stupid test. I haven't got time. <sighs> Wait a minute. Something feels empty about this classroom. There are two certain dogs missing from the front of the room. Uh, Miss Belgium? Don't you mean Eric and Melody? Yes, that's exactly who I was talking about. Thank you for pointing that out. When I see those two, they'll be in big whoop. Melody, what are we gonna do? Mrs. Belgium is going to kill us. She's one of the most strictest teachers. <sighs> this is just our luck. I don't think I can do it. Uh, what are we gonna do? I can't walk into that classroom. Sure you can. She's not that strict. <clears throat> um, excuse me, Mrs. Belgium. Can I please go to the bathroom? Who just asked to go to the bathroom? <clears throat> uh, me, Miss. <laughs> well, well. Well, Melanie, how many times do I have to tell you? Bath time break is over. Oh, but miss, I really need to go. <laughs> okay, miss. Oh. Hi, Mrs. Belgium. Well, what are you two doing here? You should have been here 10 minutes ago. We're really sorry, honest. Yeah, sorry's for peewees. In my class, you are never late. If you are late, you can suffer the consequences. But miss, it was a really good, well, it's a really, well, uh, um, uh. Well what? Please, I don't want to hear your sassy lies. Just explain to me why you're late. Um, well, uh, um. We're late cause, uh, we, um, we, we, uh, got, uh, never mind. I know it's a lazy excuse. Anyways, I'll let you off the hook this time. But make sure you are never late for my class ever again. Got that, losers? Yes, miss, we understand, and we're very sorry. All right then, go take a seat at your desk. We're up to handwriting. Make sure it's neat and tidy, or else. <gasps> Excuse me, Eric? Get to your seat and stop making googie eyes. Oh, uh, sorry. Gorgeous today. Uh, I guess it wasn't obvious. Oh, but it's very obvious. You're really gorgeous. Excuse me, Mr. Eric. What do you think you're doing, whispering? Get to work. Oh, um, sorry, miss. Psst. Psst. What? You're going to get bad grades if you keep looking at her and whispering to her. I can't help but look at her. She's so beautiful. <sighs> Listen here, you two. If you keep whispering, you'll be in the principal's office getting a slap. Sorry. It won't happen again. Yeah, it better not. Okay, class. Pencils, papers, and books down, please. What? But miss, I haven't even started my test yet. We just started our test. We haven't even finished. Don't worry, there's an explanation yeah. for it. Now just put your pencils and papers down. Wow, Raquel, your handwriting is gorgeous. <laughs> I know, that's why I get such good grades. Hmm, I think my handwriting's gorgeous. Okay, class, attention to my face.
Yeah, Just listen here, please. Yeah. Okay, class, please attention and stop talking. Good. Now, I have an announcement to make. As I said, listen. Okay, so here's the announcement I have to make. This week, you'll be doing a project, a partner project. Which means you'll be having a partner to do it with. And that means that you'll be have to make time. This means that you'll have to make time and find time to work with your partner to do this project. And I will now tell you what the project is about. Your project will be about plants and their habitat. It may seem like some kind of kindergarten work, but trust me, this is a blowout. You must research one or two types of plant. You and your partner must choose two plants and research them. And try to find it if you have one in your neighborhood or if you have one growing in your garden. If you don't have one growing in your garden or not in your neighborhood, you don't need to bring it in. But you will need to research it, find its habitat, and I'll give you a formal sheet of paper which will state all the things you must need and things you have to do. But before you go off and start deciding who your partner is, I will just tell you that the person you are picking must be cooperative, smart, and non goo If your partner is not like this, then you won't get a partner. So make sure you choose a good partner. I will now give you three minutes to choose a partner. And make sure it's quick, and no goofing around. Hey, Raquel, do you want to be my partner? What? Why would he ask her first? I'm his best friend. Uh, sorry, Eric, but I already have a partner. Oh. Uh, sorry. Maybe next time? Eric? Yes? Why didn't you ask me first? I'm your best friend. Duh. Oh, please, don't go into this again. Eric, you're not my friend anymore. Eric this, Eric that. I'm still your friend. Sheath. Okay, but remember, we're friends. And you gotta ask me as well. <sighs> okay. Do you want to be partner? Of course I do. Yours are my Uh, well, my mom's out of town right now, and she can't really have anyone come to the house. She doesn't like people being in the house without her there, so I guess your house? Sure thing. Come to my house at 4 o'clock today. Make sure you ring your mom and tell her that you're coming. Ah, uh, will do. Okay, class, time's up. I hope you have a partner. Now, I'll just go over the info one more time. The project is about plants and their habitat. You must choose two plants or at least. Research them, write something about them, and read it to the class on Monday. The project is due exactly Monday. If it is not due by then, if you do not bring it in, then you will be grounded and you will also get a huge E minus. So I expect you try your best. Alright class, that's all for now. And there goes the bell. Okay, class, please pack up your pencils and papers, your pencil cases and blah, 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 and head off to the cafeteria. Gotta go pee. Come on, Eric, let's go. Uh, coming. Hmm, maybe Eric likes her coat because she's beautiful. And I must say, she is beautiful. Hmm, maybe I can get some fashion tips from <gasps> And there she is. Raquel, excuse me. Hi. Uh, hi. Um, I'm really sorry to bother you, but... I was wondering if I could get some fashion tips from you. You're really beautiful. <laughs> sure, just come over here so we can talk privately. Okay. Okay. Um, you're Eric's little, uh, friend, right? Oh, yeah, I am. He really likes me. <laughs> well, of course he does. I'm gorgeous. Yeah, I agree. Well, I was just wondering, since you're really beautiful and you have nice clothes, 
Do you think you could give me some fashion tips? I want to master the fashion elements just like you. <laughs> Listen here. Yeah? Um, are you okay? Your face looks a little mad. Are you mad at me or something? Listen here. I don't want to bother you or anything, but get out of my way. Uh, what? <laughs> you want me to give you fashion tips. Get real. Um, what? What are you talking about? Pfft, look at you. You're a small, stupid beagle dog with big glasses and a goopy face. I'm gonna waste my time giving you fashion tips when it won't work. I give beautiful people fashion tips, but there's only one beautiful person here. And that's me. Uh, uh what are you talking about? Are you trying to say I'm ugly? Well, honey, I'm not sure you'd win a beauty contest. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I thought you were nice. <laughs> I am nice, but not to people like you. I will never give you fashion tips. I will never have anything to do with you. And by the way, I feel really sorry for your friend, Eric. Can't believe he has to hang out with such a loser like you. Maybe that's why he likes me better. Because I'm beautiful, gorgeous, and I have talent. And I'm popular and new. You're an old, saggy, bad, ugly, and stupid. Now stay out of my way. <gasps> well, that would fix her. Why would she say that to me? I thought she was nice. Stupid glasses making me look ugly all the time. Why would she say this? Look, there's no point in crying about it. What do you mean? Maybe you should leave now. I think you made me cry enough. Aren't you supposed to catch the bus or something? <laughs> Don't be silly, sweetie. I get picked up in a limousine. Now stop crying and acting like a baby. <sighs> Maybe she's right. I am a loser. I wonder Eric doesn't like me anymore.